Hey everyone, Kevin here. What I'd like to do in this video is show you what you can do if your default Android launcher isn't working correctly. The launcher is kind of what sits on top of Android and it allows you to launch apps and all that and you can see here, mine isn't working. Um, every company calls them calls the launcher something different. HTC calls theirs Sense, Sony call it you know something else, Samsung calls it something else. But essentially it's the same thing, it's what you're using on top of Android to navigate it and all that. Um, so I'm going to jump to my overhead camera now. There we go. <laughs> um, so you can see what's happening here. Like, look at this. It's it's unusable. And the thing about this is I can't even go into like an app drawer. I can't do it. So if it's not on the home page, I'm kind of screwed. Um, the interesting thing is that I can go into apps when I'm in an app. You know, the launcher isn't working, so it's fine. Everything is okay. But when I'm back in the home screen. This is where the problems arrive, and there's a problem with HTC Sense. I don't know what it, what's happening here. I don't know how to resolve it. I've restarted. I've looked at some tutorials, but the easiest fix to this is just to, um, if I can get it open, is to get the Google Play Store open and look for a launcher. This is the beauty. Um, this is a, the great thing about uh, Android. The, the beautiful thing about it is that there's so many other launchers out there, and you can switch to a different launcher. There's ones that you know mimic Apple. There's ones that even mimic Windows and there's a lot of them out there. Now the one that I've always kind of went for is Nova Launcher but you know you can do your own research, look at videos, look at screenshots, look at reviews. Um, so I've got Nova Launcher there and essentially when Nova Launcher is on I will be able to um, do what I want with it and you can see I'm you know just setting it up here at the beginning. So do I want to use Sense, Sense Home is Home? No, I want to use Nova Launcher. So this is probably what you'll see when you load up um, your new launcher, but they normally have like an import option. And um, back up, right, here we go. So yes, I can erase, select. So I'm going to import all the settings from my, from Sense Home. And you know, there's, there's sometimes, you know, they've, they've made a blank page here. And in this, you know, then they've got the apps here. It doesn't import widgets, so you need to install those again. But by and large, I can, you know, use the phone again and everything is hunky dory. Now, if you want to change back, all you have to do is go into settings, go to personalize, and you'll see this option here change home screen launcher. Now, I believe this is only shown if you have more than one launcher installed on Android. And when you're there, you can change to Sense Home or change to whatever your default launcher is. But, you know, because mine's is crashing, it's going like that. Back to that kind of problem. But I think, yeah, so what Android is doing now is uh, reverting back to Nova Launcher because it knows that's working. So that, in fact, what it's done here is kind of like a hybrid. What it's got now is, it looks like a kind of hybrid situation here, doesn't it? Where it's got Nova Launcher here um, but if I do the settings, personalize, change, see, that's kind of weird what it's doing here. It's got Sense Home um, and it's not got Nova Launcher. For whatever reason, I don't know what's going on there. That's a little bit weird. Um, yeah, it's still crashing. But you can see here it's got Home Sense here and it's got Nova Launcher. I've got some sort of hybrid situation going on there. So I don't know what's going on there, guys, but basically, yeah, that's what's, what you need to do. You need to get into the Play Store and you need to change to a different launcher and that's the best way to do it and then then you can start troubleshooting but by and large the first thing you need to do is get your phone working and that's what you need to do install another launcher uh, go to your google play store you can do it through a settings area as well i believe and when you're in the google play store um you can you know install whatever you want now if for any reason you can't get to the google play store through your phone remember you can do it through your account as well and you can install another launcher directly through the Google Play Store on a browser, like on your laptop or tablet or something. And then what you can do is just go through here, go into the settings area, go to personalize, and then change to the launcher that you just installed via the browser. So thanks for watching guys. I don't know what went on, what went on there. I've got some sort of hybrid situation going on there, but hopefully some of you guys will find this useful. Thanks for watching.